BBC Radio 1. It's a true story you couldn't write even if you tried. A scandal which involves celebrities, the police and even the US president. The actor who says he was the victim of a hate crime, who's then arrested and accused by police of faking the whole thing. And that's not even where the weird bit ends. Suddenly he was let free and his whole record was wiped. It's a roller coaster of a story, which means there's only one question to ask. Jussie Smollett, what's the fuss? Cue the music. Until just a few weeks ago, Jussie Smollett was best known as one of the main characters in the massive TV show Empire. And then in January, this happened. Jussie Smollett from Empire was the victim of a brutal, heinous, hate crime in Chicago early Tuesday morning. Investigators say it all started when two individuals yelled out racial and homophobic slurs. They began to beat him up. Journalist Zach Stafford has been following the story closely in the US. You know Chicago really well as a uh, gay black man in America. What was your initial kind of thoughts on that, that attack? I wasn't terribly surprised to hear about this. You know, Chicago has had decades of violence similar to this um, for black people, for black queer people, and for queer people who are not black. So it's not unheard of to have a person who's a minority in America get attacked on the streets of Chicago. I was just jumped. And I, then I look down and I see that there's a rope around my neck. You know, the rope has been really popular for a symbol of hate in America. It had every aspect of a hate crime possible. Um, so the country kind of exploded around the news. What followed was a massive outpouring of support from his co-stars and celebrities, including Ariana Grande, John Legend, and Janelle Monet. Even President Trump called it a horrible attack. A couple of days later, Jussie had this to say. I'm the gay Tupac. Um, he didn't quite explain what he actually meant by that, but anyway. We're now about two weeks after the attack and the story's about to get even odder. After he'd refused to hand over his phone to police, Jussie eventually gave them transcripts of the calls he made that night, but he blacked out a lot of the details. And then two men were arrested, but it turns out they knew Jussie all along. Yeah, so they originally met on the set of Empire, where one of them played uh, a bodyguard in a prison scene. So that's where they first met and Jesse became friendly with them there. And they were also his personal trainer. So these brothers were picked up because the police believed they were the two men they were able to find in police footage um, that showed two really blurry figures walking down the street. So when they brought them in, the brothers began cooperating immediately. Um, and they were like, yep, that's us. And Jussie was a part of it. But on the same day, an interview went out where Jussie was insisting his attackers were white men who he didn't know, not these two who he was friends with. It's not necessarily that you don't believe that this is the truth. You don't even want to see the truth. A few people had been saying this was a hoax right from the very start. Why wouldn't I believe a black man who tells me he's been the victim of a hate crime? Why wouldn't I believe a gay man who tells me he's the victim of a hate crime? Well, I didn't. But this was when people really started to get suspicious. And then... CCTV footage was found from a few days before the attack, which appears to show the arrested Osandero brothers buying a rope, black ski masks and a red hat all things the attackers were meant to have had. Plus, a check was found in their flat. It was for three and a half thousand dollars and it was signed by Jussie Smollett. You'll notice that police are getting quite emotional here. They're convinced that Jussie's in the wrong. Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? You know who loves to wade in with a tweet right about now? President Trump said what Jussie did was racist and dangerous. So a day later, Jussie was arrested by the police and suspended from his TV show Empire. But he always said he was innocent. Mr. Smollett enters a plea of not guilty. So Jussie's argument is that the check he wrote was for a workout regime because he was getting into shape for a music video he was shooting. And when he refused to hand over his phone to police? I have private pictures and videos and numbers. His lawyers also said that police were presuming he was guilty even before any trial had happened. And then out of nowhere, we heard that Jussie was about to appear in court in an emergency hearing weeks before he was meant to be back in front of a judge. A few hours later, the world was stunned. Chicago police and the mayor remain outraged after prosecutors abruptly dropped all charges against Jussie Smollett. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. Now, this doesn't mean Jussie's considered innocent. In fact, 
This is what the man who dropped the charges has to say. Do you think Mr. Smollett did what he was charged with doing? Yes, we stand behind the CPD's investigation in this case, the great work, the tremendous work that they did in investigating this case. Do you consider him innocent? No. The court said Jussie went free because he'd done 16 hours of community service at a civil rights organization, and he'd also handed over $10,000 in bail money. Can you think of anyone who might be really annoyed right about now? Yeah, this guy. If he wanted to clear his name, the way to do that was in a court of law so that everyone could see the evidence. Police Chief Eddie Johnson and Mayor Rahm Emanuel were furious. This is a whitewash of justice. They'd been investigating this case for almost two months and they had no idea this was about to be dropped. Jussie's lawyer said the case was closed, but that hasn't stopped President Trump saying he's getting the FBI involved. That's an embarrassment not only to Chicago, that is an embarrassment to our country. So what happens to Jussie Smollett now? We already know that he won't be in the last two episodes of this season of Empire, but we don't know what's going to happen next season. Can his career really hold out? Or is this the last we've seen of him? In many ways, it's a perfect story for an incredibly imperfect moment in our world where nothing seems to make sense and everything seems to be upside down. Um, that, of course, a story like this would happen where we don't get resolution, but you get so much drama, so much kind of nuance into how crime plays out, how justice plays out, how politics play out. So it, it feels, for many people have joked, it feels like performance art. It feels like it was something that was created to talk about where we're at in America. And maybe it was, um, but I don't know if we'll ever know, really. <laughs>